Bible here for you. I'm going to read in, uh, the book of Leviticus. Um, I'm not sure if it's chapter 19 or 20. Um, 19 or 20. Let's, let's uh, pray. Heavenly Father God, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful, beautiful day, Father. Thank you for the time we have here together, Lord, to read your word. Um, thank you, Father, for your word that, that, that will counsel us and guide us through anything in our lives. And may what I say today, Lord, be a blessing to you, and may it be a blessing to others. Through your word, have you say what you want me to say. Lord, let not it be my words but yours. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Here in the book of Leviticus, uh, it's in the Old Testament. Um, we have uh, we have some rules, some, uh, some uh, punishments for sin. Um, I just want to read some of these things to you. And it makes us all feel about how you know how how wrong we are a lot of times on stuff that we think is okay. Um, chapter twenty, verse one starts and says, "And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel. Now, now, now the Lord is telling Moses, saying, Moses, go back to Israel and tell these people what I'm going to tell you. So Moses, pretty much, you know, he's doing what." What all good preachers today do, he's asking the Lord for, you know, the Lord's telling them what to say, and uh, Moses is saying it. Uh, it's not the words of Moses, but it's the words of God going through Moses. Um, there again, it says, Again thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Malak, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stone. And I will set my face against that man, and will cut him off from among his people, because he hath given of his seed to defile my sanctuary, and to profane my holy name. And if the people of the land do anyways hide their eyes from the man, when he giveth of his seed and, <clears throat> and kill him not, then I will set my face against that man and against his family, and will cut him off. And all that go a whoring after him to commit whoredom from among their people. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. Sanctify yourselves thereof and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. And ye shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. For every one that curseth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. He hath cursed his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. And the man that lieth with his father's wife hath uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man lie with his daughters-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man also lie with mankind, he lieth with a woman. But of them have committed an abomination. <clears throat> they surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man take a wife and her mother 
it is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall slay the beast. If a woman approach unto any beast, and lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He hath uncovered his sister's nakedness. He shall bear his iniquity. And if a man shall lie with a woman having her sickness, and shall uncover her nakedness, he hath discovered her fountain, and she hath uncovered the fountain of her blood, and both of them shall be cut off from among their people. And thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister, nor of thy father's sister. For he uncovereth his near kin, they shall bear their iniquity. And if a man shall lie with his uncle's wife, and he hath uncovered his uncle's nakedness, they shall bear their sin, and they shall die childless. If a man shall take his brother's wife, it is an unclean thing. He hath uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. Ye shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments and do them, that the land whither I bring you to dwell therein spew you not out. And ye shall walk, not walk in the manners of the nation which I cast out before you, for they committed all these things, and therefore I abhorred them. But I have said unto you, Ye shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you in, uh, to possess it, a land that floweth with milk and honey. Man, a land that flows with milk and honey. What a sweet place. What a sweet place. I am the Lord your God, which have separated you from other people. Ye shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean, and ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast, or by fowl, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated you from as unclean. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy, and have severed you from other people, that you should be mine. A man also, or woman, that hath a familiar spirit, for that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death, and shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. Dear Heavenly Father, God, thank you, Lord, for this reading of your word today, Father. Um, thank you for the for Moses who had um, trusted in you, Lord, to write down these things that you have told him to write down. Uh, Lord, just thank you again for your word. Thank you that we may apply it to our lives and to make our lives better. In Jesus' heavenly, precious, beautiful name I pray. Amen. All I want to say today is if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, I pray for you every day. I have a hurt in my heart for people who are unsaved. I hurt for them so badly. I need prayer too. Pray for me as I keep up this journey. Because I know Satan is going to attack me. He's going to attack me for doing God's work. And I'm going to need prayer. I'm going to need the strength and the wisdom to keep going. Like I said a little bit ago, I have a hurting heart for those of you who don't know Jesus. And for those of you who do, make sure it's in your heart and not in your mind.
your heart is what matters. He's got to be in your heart. He's got to be everything about you. If there's anyone out there who don't know Jesus and doesn't understand how to pray and accept Him, please message me on Facebook. At Richard Keg Gibson on Facebook. Message me. Add me as your friend. And I will, help, I will be glad to pray with you and help you. Thank you. I'll be praying for you and God bless.